Adrian, I think the first time we saw that triple option, you guys were pitching it to Samari against Illinois. From that play until, I don't know, maybe Xavier's play, how much better have you guys gotten at just executing what you want to do? Yeah, uh, in regards to the option game? Yeah, well, it's something we've been actively practicing, but it's definitely one of those concepts that uh, you just need reps and reps and reps and reps. And we do it every day of practice. We continue to work on it. And, uh, you know, you see some of that chemistry paying off. You've had to pitch, I think, to like eight guys, which is mm-hmm. rare. Like a lot of times with the old option, they might pitch the three or four eye backs. Has it been a, a work in progress having to learn the speed and the tempo of each guy you're pitching to? Mm, that's interesting. I, I think there's a, a standard that we have each of those guys try and be uh, a certain um, a distance away from me and, and timing um, because it, for me, it can't differentiate that way. It, it's got to be the same. They got to be in the right spot and, and either keep up. And that's why those reps are so crucial with all those guys. And, and we get those. Adrian, what do you remember about that 2018 game against Michigan and, and how different were the teams physically then? Yeah, well, I remember us getting smacked. You know, it was uh, um, a rough game for myself, rough game for the team. I know I only played a half of football. Uh, yeah, different teams. Uh, we're in a, a much different spot as a program, as, as a unit, um, both sides of the ball here. And, uh, yeah, we were physically outmatched. Where do you feel like that disparity is maybe different or could be different this time? Uh, well, I just – our program, our, our team, we're in a different spot, um, physically uh, better. I mean, I feel very confident in the guys that we have, and I mean, just top down. Hey, Green, uh, after that win the other night, a lot of people excited. Is the, is the air of positive, positivity around the program as high as it's been since, since you've been here right now? Uh, it's, it's hard to put a you know, definitive stamp on it. But uh, I know the guys right now are really confident in where we're at, the type of team we have. And uh, um, to an extent, I believe we've earned that. You know, we have a lot of trust in each other and we've worked really hard and know the, the things we're capable of as a team. So excited. We got a lot of good teams on the schedule left. You get that feeling though from being outside the team element, you know, just, you know, on the street or just, you know, being around. Mm. That, yeah, you know. I, I would say, you know, that, that feeling I felt in the stadium on Memorial, I don't know if I've felt that ever in my time here. You know, it was a great surge of energy. The team, I think uh, the fans really approved and were excited about what they saw on the field from us. Um, and we, you know, oozed confidence as well on the sideline. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I think it's fair to say walking about a little bit, it's it's felt really nice. What kind of trust do you, you feel right now in that combination of linemen that were in front of you Saturday? Yeah, you know, like I've said before, I feel really confident in Coach Austin and his ability to get those guys ready. Um, they've been working their tails off, you know, and they, they have work to do like we all do. And they're continuing to gain everyone's trust, but uh, Saturday was a great step, and obviously today's practice was as well. Coach Frost mentioned that, I think he was specifically talking about Teddy, but Teddy and Nuri both, how they, they the moment was not too big for them. They didn't have any kind of panic. What did you see? You know, you're closer to them in the game action. What did you see from those two guys, you know, as the as the intensity started to ramp up on the field? Yeah, I'd, I'd echo Coach G. Um, a lot of composure from those two uh, guys who, again, put in a ton of work during the week, and that's where it counts. You win the game Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? So they did that for us, and they're continuing to do that now. You know, a lot of confidence in them, and they stepped up to the plate. Did you see that from Teddy early on, right away? I mean, be a tough assignment to be a true freshman and playing left tackle and fixing it. Definitely. Uh, but if we didn't think he was capable, he wouldn't be doing that. So uh, a lot of confidence in him, and I have all the confidence in him myself. Hey, Adrian, you uh, have kind of told us that you're a student of the game and, and the history of college football. Uh, Arbaugh and Frost are obviously going to be a, a pretty good storyline for this game. I know that you, they've had their teams play already in 18, but that was only three or four games into the Frost era. Uh, you know, kind of the parallels of all those guys being at the wrong modders. Can you just kind of give me your take, uh, kind of size up the, the matchup of, of these two coaches and kind of uh, what what the, the air is around that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I can, I can see all the potential storylines there for sure. They're both former quarterbacks, uh, guys who played in the NFL, uh, alma mater, um, respected in their industry 
and, and yeah, they they're somewhat tenured here. You know, Frost has been here for more than a couple of years, and Harbaugh as well at, at Michigan. So it's it's a big game for both of us. Um, I know they're trying to continue to build momentum, but so are we. Uh, coming to our place, I know it'll be an exciting game, big game for both programs. Adrian, what have you seen out of Michigan's defense? They've put up some pretty good numbers this year. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like you said, they're uh, they put up some good numbers. They're a really good unit, fast, physical, uh, and they're going to bring it. You know, I know that's something they pride themselves on, and uh, we're ready for the challenge. The rest of you game, Xavier, just in how he's you know changed himself from last year. Going. Yeah, you know, I, I think I had mentioned something maybe before the season had even started about Betts and uh, just the type of potential he has. And, and I think he's realizing that himself and, and really just putting in the work and continuing to build trust with his teammates and, and build with us, uh, the quarterbacks. A lot of faith in him. He's a stud and he's only going to continue to get better. He was really honest with us at one point. I think it was in camp about how he didn't have quite the spring he wanted for himself mm -hmm. and he challenge himself and did you see right away like in early August like okay he came back with sort of a different mindset yeah you know he has a high standard for himself which is always good to see in a young player and um, he's continuing to build on that you know it seems like he's not satisfied with any of the success he's had so far um, and neither are we you know we know what he's capable of and it's it's much more